mistake. I mean, Lucy can be flighty, but she's not dangerous. Lucy would never attack a cop. Really? That's exactly what she did. <gasps> Wait a minute. Coco goes cuckoo? You know, John was seriously hurt. If Sean didn't stop her, she could have killed him. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this, this just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Lucy's a lot of things, but a killer? And even a cop killer. This is not the Lucy Co. that I know. Lucy now? She's in lockup at the police station. I need to go see her. Okay. Felicia, are you sure you want to do that? Oh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. I need to hear her side of the story. The last time you saw Lucy? Yesterday at the floating rib. I mean, she seemed fine, still Lucy, but not like she was about to fly into a homicidal rage. Did she mention anything about vampires? No. You know, she was there meeting Tracy Quartermain. They were talking business, not the curse of the undead. Something must have happened to convince her that John McBain was really Caleb Morley. McBain, he's the vampire king? Oh, well, according to Lucy. We should have seen her. She was completely unhinged. Sounds like Lucy needs some serious help. And I know just the person to provide it. She needs help, and the only person to do that is her husband. Kevin Collins. He's a psychiatrist. No, Alexis was going to call him last night. Uh, Lucy said he couldn't help her. Well, Lucy clearly isn't in her right mind. She wouldn't know what was best for her if... If it bit her in the neck. Okay, that's it. I'm ignoring <laughs> you. Let me see if I can find his number. I hope I have the right number. Oh, wait, I've got Kevin's contact. Um, here, is that the number you want? Yep, that's it. When I first came to Port Charles, Kevin was the first client I had, and I knew there was something more to his situation than what the facts presented, and maybe there's something more to Lucy's situation, too. Uh, Kevin, this is Alexis Davis. Uh, your wife is, is in Port Charles. She's having some trouble, so could you give me a call as soon as you get this message? Thanks. Now all we have to do is wait for him to call back. Maybe we should try to track down Lucy's kids. Actually, I have more of an immediate plan. You want us to kill John McBain? Yes. His name is not John McBain. It's Caleb Morley. Listen, all you have to do is get something wooden. It has to be really sharp, and you've got to pierce his heart, because apparently I failed. We I should have done better. We're not going to stake anyone, Lucy. You just told me that you wanted to help. Well, I will, by standing by you at your arraignment. Felicia, can I... Can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think it's a good idea if I go to the arraignment. I mean, Lucy thinks that I was once a vampire, too. Oh, yeah, you have a good point. Maybe I'll go to the arraignment for both of us. Lucy, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to go to the arraignment, but I'm your friend. Please believe me. I'll always be your friend. If there's anything I can do for you, Fine. you just call me. I will, okay? but I... Listen, Duke, I appreciate that. But I want you to go after Caleb Morley. Hunt him down. Time for Miss Coe's arraignment. What? I, I don't even have a lawyer. You do now. On the next General Hospital, can we take this party to a nice big bed? We play this the right way. EOQ is ours for the taking. We like the bad boys, don't we? I'm going to personally supervise your transfer to the courthouse. I need you to get out there and kill Caleb. 